Okay, by now you've done some polynomial division. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh man, I wish there were a quicker way. Well, the good news is there is a quicker way sometimes. What we're going to learn about today is something called synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is really still long division. It's just kind of a shorthand notation. Now, synthetic division is limited. You can only use it when you are dividing by x minus some number. Now, so don't think it's only division because x plus, or only subtraction, because x plus 3 is the same thing as x minus negative 3. So the key is, the key to whether or not you can use synthetic division is that there must be a 1 in front of your x. No other number. Now, I'll show you how to handle other numbers, but you have to be dividing by x minus something. So, let's run through an example here. Let's say I want to divide 3x to the third plus 7x squared minus 2x minus 4. And I'm going to divide that by x plus 3. Okay. If we do that, we can see that we're going to get a 3x squared We multiply through, change our signs so we can add instead of subtract. We get negative 2x squared. Negative 2x divided by x is negative 2x. Bring down the next term. Multiply through, I get negative 2x squared minus 6x change signs so we can add and we get 4x bring down the next term 4x divided by x is 4 multiply through change signs so I can add and I end up with minus 16. So my result is 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus 16 over x plus 3. Okay. Now, I want you to think about this in terms of just the coefficients. Okay. I've got a 3 and a 1. This 3 shows up again right here. Now, this 3 multiplied by that 3 gave me that 9. I add that 9 to this 7. So I subtract it because I changed my signs. And I get this negative 2. which is what shows up right here. This negative 2 multiplied by this 3 with the sign changed gives me this 6. I add those two together, this 6 to that negative 2, and I get this 4, which shows up again right here. And then this 4 multiplied by this 3, with the sign changed, gives me that negative 12, which then gives me my remainder. So what we do with synthetic division is we just write down the coefficients. Okay? And more specifically, so let me just show you what we do. 
We can think of this example that we just worked as 3x to the third, whoops, sorry, 3x to the third plus 7x squared minus 2x minus 4 divided by x plus 3, but I'm going to write that as x minus a negative 3. Now we write, set up synthetic division like this. We put a little box. And what goes in that little box is whatever number we are subtracting from x in the bottom. And then across from that little box, we write in a, just in a single line the coefficients of my numerator. So 3, 7, negative 2, and negative 4. Now you may be wondering, how, how do I know what that actually means? Well, this is always going to be your constant term. So this will always be an x, this will always be an x squared, and we just keep going up. Okay. Now leave a space, leave an empty line, and draw a line. Here's how this works. We take the first number, we drop it straight down, and we get 3. Now we take this number that we put out in front, we're going to multiply it by that number, and that goes right there. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. And we always add in synthetic division. So 7 plus negative 9 is negative 2. And I want you to notice we have a negative 2 right here. Okay, now we just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 gives me a positive 6, which is the same number that appears here. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Multiply and put it under the next number in line. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. We add, we get negative 16, and the last number goes in a box because it is your remainder. We're going to use this a lot because that the remainder of 0, this is a really fast way to check that. And in later sections, this becomes very important. So practice synthetic division. And I'm going to tell you how to interpret your results. So you've got a 3, negative 2, 4, and a six, negative 16 in box. This column started as the coefficient of the x to the third. Because we've divided by an x, it is now one degree lower. So this is 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, plus negative 16 over whatever we were dividing by. So your result is 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, plus a negative 16 over x minus a negative 3, or 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, minus 16 over x plus 3. Synthetic division is a very handy tool. It is a tool that only really works when you're dividing by x minus a number. So I'm going to show you how to handle it when you don't have that, when you've got something like 2x minus 3. Before I do that, though, I want you to be sure that you are comfortable with synthetic division. Okay, so, so if you need to, write down the, the timestamp here, pause this, do some extra problems either off the homework or out of your textbook. You can always do practice problems out of your textbook, starting on page 355 for this section. Okay, let's talk about... Some, let's do another example of synthetic division. 
let's suppose that I would like to divide 3y to the third minus 19y squared plus 17y plus 4 by 3y minus 4. Now let's suppose I would really like to do this with synthetic division. But I can't because I don't have a 1 in front of my y. All right, let's think about this for a minute. Let's factor this 3 out. So let's rewrite this thing as 3y to the third minus 19y squared plus 17y plus 4 divided by 3 times y minus 4 thirds. Same thing. If I distribute that 3 back through, I'm going to get back to what I started with, so that works. This now is the same thing as 1, so now I can pull this 3 all the way out and make it 1 third times 3y to the third minus 19y squared plus 17y plus 4 all over y minus 4 thirds. Now that I can do with synthetic division. So let's set this up. I'm just going to do this division that's inside the parentheses using the synthetic division. I've got y minus 4 thirds. So 4 thirds goes in my box. My coefficients are 3y to the third minus 19y squared plus 17y plus 4. Drop down my first coefficient, which is a 3. Multiply 4 thirds times 3 is just 3. Add, and I'm going to get negative 16. All right, I'm going to use my calculator. Because now I multiply 4 thirds by negative 16. So negative 16 times 4 thirds, and I'm going to want that in a fraction, is negative 64 over 3. And I want to add that to 17, and again, I want the fraction. And I get negative 13 thirds. Do that multiplication again times 4 thirds and give it to me as a fraction. I get negative 52 over 9. Add that to 4 and give it to me as a fraction. And I get negative 16 ninths. Now you may be thinking to yourself, those numbers are awful ugly. Well, they'd be just as ugly if we were doing long division. So no real choice. No, we're stuck. It's one of the hazards of division. Sometimes you get fractions. Okay, so what's this mean? Well, this means that my bit in parentheses here simplified to 3y squared minus 16y minus 13 over thirds, 13 over 3 minus 16 over 9 times y minus 4 thirds. There's still a 1 third out in front. Now we can just redistribute through and we'll get y squared minus 16 over 3 times y minus 13 over 9 minus 16 over 27 times y minus 4 thirds. We can make that be a little less ugly by distributing the 27 through. You get y squared minus 16 over thirds y minus 13 ninths minus 16 over 27 y minus 36.
Okay, the division was still a little ugly because we had fractions, but it was slightly less ugly than it would have been if we did it with long division, I think. I'm a real fan of synthetic division. I'm not going to tell you you have to use it, but I'm going to tell you it's going to make your life a lot simpler as we move through the rest of this chapter. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just do another quiz. This will be quiz seven. Division's a good thing to practice. I should probably know how you're doing with it. And when you're doing this division, I want you to remember that you don't necessarily have to use synthetic division or long division. You can always go back to go to factoring. So let's just divide x to the third plus 2x squared minus 25x minus 50 all over x plus 5. And you may accomplish that division using whatever method suits your fancy. You can try factoring the numerator. You can use long division or you can use synthetic division. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Mm, wait, I should probably write on here that this is quiz 7, just so we don't miss it. So that is quiz number 7. All right, I'll talk to you soon.